Okay, so this company named Placino hit me up on Instagram, and usually when I get things like that on Instagram, I don't have a ton of followers on there, like 230 or something, but usually when I get something like that, it's, it's usually something that's fake. Um, something that is very much, you know, some type of spam. But they mentioned my YouTube videos and that they liked them and that they were a fishing company and wanted to know if I would do a video for them on uh, tackle or something. And I was like, okay, well, let me take a look. I kind of waited and I did my research and I found a bunch of reviews for certain things that Placino makes. More specifically, their telescoping rod seems to be the most, one of the more popular products that they have. And there are some reviews of like their early versions of it. It looks like weren't very good. Um, it looks like it's a Chinese based company that uh, tries to market itself to beginner fishermen, and that's fine. But what I found interesting was there are quite a few reviews on that kind of specific rod. And the later reviews, uh, specifically one or two that I watched, actually said that the, the rod that they now put out that is actually pretty decent. And it's worth the money. And it's actually a decent rod for what it is. They went and fixed a bunch of the issues with the original one. It, it feels like it's better built, it's better balanced, higher quality. Um, so that kind of gives me hope that if this is a company that's just starting out, that you know, at least they're willing to fix stuff and take criticism and or feedback from their consumers. They also seem to have reviews for like nets and things like that, a couple other products that they have that seem very interesting. But when they reached out to me, they said, could you do uh, a video for us on this? And um, we'll see where it goes from there. And I said, sure, I, I'll, I'll do a video on that. So I'm, I'm making this in conjunction with a video for them uh, showcasing their, uh, their one of their fishing kits, one of their kind of entry level fishing kits. Now keep in mind that their products are aimed or, or they're supposed to be aimed at beginner fishermen, which is absolutely fine. Gugun Squad does that. Um, there's other companies out there that, that do that. But these look like very kind of entry level, hey, we want to kind of get you everything fishing kits. So I'm going to review their one kit here. It's a uh, it's a 102 piece kit. It's got a lot of terminal tackle and some baits in it. But we're gonna take a look at it and uh, let's see what's in it. Is it worth it? Do I recommend it? More importantly, can you catch fish on it? Okay, so this is the kit that they sent me. It's a 102 piece kit. It comes with uh, actually a decent amount of stuff. Like if I were to piece this out with even just inexpensive stuff from other brands, I don't know if I could, uh, I could get the same amount of stuff. There's a lot of terminal tackle in here. We've got, let's go over the baits first. First off, when I picked up these Senkos, these Senkos were in there. The way that they felt, I knew immediately I needed to separate them, get them in a bag. I don't want them to be in the box. I don't want them, because this came jam packed. I don't want them to get smashed. These, I think, are going to surprise me. I have high hopes for them. They actually felt pretty good, a lot of action. They didn't feel hard. They didn't feel super stiff either. It comes with a, uh, three different types of, well, there's, there's two grubs in here, kind of a pink and a green. They're your standard curly tail grubs and they come with jig heads you can rig them on. I'm pretty sure I can get some fish on those. And then this kind of long curly tail style swim bait. Um, there are some hooks in there for those as well. So I'm pretty sure I can get fish on those. I've got some frogs here. This one's kind of jammed. Let me see if I can get them out. All right, we got them out. So um, these are the frogs came with. I mean, they, they seem okay. Paint jobs maybe not the greatest but they got a rattle on it. It's a pretty heavy rattle. I like that. Uh, I also got a bunch of these spoons. Um, they're probably inexpensive, which is why they're included in here. They're not really bass fishing. This is not really a bass fishing kit in my opinion. It's more of a general fishing kit. Um, these would definitely work for trout up north. I fished for trout with spoons before. It also work on walleye and also work on, uh, you know, maybe bass in deeper water. Spotted bass, if you catch them schooling in like 20 foot of water or something like that, and they're feeding on a little bait fish, that would definitely work for that. One thing I found interesting is they also sent, you know, if you're fishing for toothy critters, they've also sent this kind of wire leader with uh, swivels. So if you're looking to fish for toothy critters, walleye, pickerel, that kind of stuff, that's actually kind of useful. And it's not something that somebody uh, like a beginner fisherman would think of. I can't count how many times I've had pickerel still my bait, like complete bite off. There's also, you know, it comes with a, a, a selection of swivels there. The hooks here aren't bad either. If we, if we take a look at the hooks, um, you can see, I mean, they're not completely closed off, but it's tight enough that the line shouldn't slip through and then, and they're not, they're not too chancy feeling. I, I don't, I don't mind those hooks. 
We also got a, a bunch of different types of spinner baits here. Now, it's one of the things I'm going to point out with the spinner baits is not all of them are created equal. This one specifically, I think, is probably one of the, the better colors to work with. But the issue I have is if you look at it right here, it looks like this will slip through and you can, I can pull that through. Now, the other ones, it's crimped off or, or bent to the point where it's not going to come through. But, you know, it, it feels like your standard entry level spinner bait that you can get either from Walmart or maybe from Strike King, one of the lower, um, one of the lower cost ones. Now, the, my biggest complaint with uh, this kit is the hard baits. And we need to sit down and, and talk about these hard baits. Okay, I understand that this is a cheap set. Uh, but the hard baits by far are probably the weakest thing in, in here. Do I think I can catch fish on them? Sure. Uh, this one is not going to get used. This is a popper that they sent. It's a topwater bait, but if you look here, it's missing a, a ring. Like, I don't want to put my line through there. It's going to get frayed. And these hooks are, like, these are cheap hooks. These are hooks that I'm pretty sure will rust fairly quickly. And we're also, it looks like they didn't even finish making the bait. We're missing some of the eyeballs on it. Uh, you can kind of see the... the what looks like to be should be glue, so I don't know what happened with this one, but that one's not getting used at all. Not in this video, not in their video either. These ones look a lot better though. Like this is a top water kind of spook bait. The hooks on it look much better. They've got a, a shiny finish to them, so there's some type of coating on it to keep it from rusting. Then we've got our, our ring here to tie to. So I'm interested to see if that one will work. I'm pretty sure this little jerk bait will work. This is a uh, I'm not 100% sure what this is. It's, a, I think, a, just a lipless jerk bait. Actually, it's, a, it's rubber. That's unique. Huh. I don't know about this one. Uh, the crankbait, it's not the best looking, but the, the hooks are, are, are decent on it. They're okay. And then, you know, we do have the, the ring to tie to. So, I'm pretty sure I can get something on that. Maybe on this, too. But by far, there's this popper. You know, out of the six, it's not something I'm, I would want to use. Uh, and again, like, we've got a bunch of spoons in here. I wonder if they could just do less with the spoons and, and give you a better selection of kind of quality hard baits. The only other thing that really kind of deters me in this kit is these are the weights. Now, this is probably, um, I want to say maybe a half ounce, and this is maybe a quarter. It might be lighter than that, but I think that they're brass. Okay. So if these are brass, that's one thing. Let me see if I can get it to scrape. Yeah, they're not coated. Um, definitely looks like they're brass. It's not like it doesn't look like a paint job on it. I could be wrong, but if it's a paint job, it's a decent paint job. But what I would expect for this is a more neutral color, something black or green. If I'm going to use this, or if you're going to use this one, I think these weights are probably too big for anything that's in here. Uh, and if you're going to use it, I would uh, take a black Sharpie or permanent marker and color it black. Not sure how, how good the, the gold will work out. Uh, but they at least give you two different uh, sizes. But if it were up to me, I would recommend going uh, a little bit smaller than this, maybe going with a, an eighth ounce a quarter at the most and getting it in a black or kind of neutral color. But the rest of the kit I think is, is okay for the price. Let's just see if we can get some fish on it and how these baits kind of hold up in the water, what the performance looks like. I, I have no problem with the soft plastics. I think the soft plastics are probably the strongest uh, part of this. The hard baits I'm a little bit questioning, but you know, maybe, maybe they'll work too. And if they hold up and the paint job holds up and the action on them is decent, they might be, they might be good too. I'm pretty sure that I can get stuff on the frog. I just got to find the right conditions. And then I'm pretty sure I can get stuff on the spinner bait. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Let's see if we can get uh, some fish on some of these baits. I've brought nothing but the Placino 102 piece kit. For the hard baits, I think, are going to be the hardest to get anything on. Water's running high, but it's also running pretty clear today. So I'm going to start off with a little spook which to be honest, will All right. So, one thing I've noticed immediately is like the zero action on this, uh, this little spook. I can get some side-to-side -side action, but it's really, 
there we go. It's really inconsistent, kind of hard to do. Um, I was kind of hoping that'd be different, but. There's one. <laughs> it's a little guy, but that's on the, uh, oh, there he goes. That's on that uh, black worm that came with it. All right, so we're gonna take the one I think is the most interesting, which is this kind of long ribbon-tailed, uh, kind of minnow-looking bait. I'm gonna put it on a jig head. I, I don't think there's enough weight to really kind of do it weightless. So we're gonna just pop it in there just like that and kind of slowly work it back, bounce it. <laughs> just had one missed the frog. I got him. Oh, it's, oh, it's a good one. Ain't bad. <laughs> Dang. Creek fish fight so hard. There you go. On that frog from the kit. I knew it would work. It's not a bad little bass. Alright, man. Thank you. I thought it was a lot smaller than that. It came back and absolutely smashed it. All right, so one of my biggest complaints is that for the spinner baits, as far as the construction and everything goes, fine. This willow blade is so small that really this should be the smaller willow blade and we should have one bigger than it. This one right here is so small that in some of the retrieves, I'm not going super slow or if the current's kind of hitting it sideways, it's just not vibrating. It's just kind of flapping around in the wind. Um, like right now, it's, just, it's dead. The top one will work no matter what, but if that's the case, then either to kind of fix that weed and you need to go with bigger blades or just one large blade. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this, but here's the uh, spinner bait. So for the most part, it works okay. The action on it isn't... Uh, Super awesome, but the biggest thing is I found that is sometimes the the blade just doesn't the smaller one just doesn't spin, especially if uh, you're with any type of current or anything like that. Really, I think we just need a bigger the, this big blade needs to be transferred to the small blade, and the small blade needs to be gone. We need to get a bigger willow blade or a bigger Colorado blade on it. There's one on the jig oh no that's a car we don't want that so we know this works i don't know if i want to count that as a catch but uh we know that uh this one works it was, it was a big gar make sure you didn't fray my line no problem i've got a uh, it's kind of ribbon tail minnow and i've got it on the little white jig head that came with it Really, I'd like to do um, prefer to do like a belly weight on this a little belly weight with a twist lock and have it weedless swim it that way. But really, just want to fish with what they provided. There's there's that car again. It's a big one. Um, really, just want to fish with what they provided. So so far, the soft plastics are are pretty decent. They may not give you the thing that I would ideally want to use with it, but uh, so far they're pretty decent. There we go. Got one on the grub. Oh, I came off. Little bass. Definitely one on the grub. <laughs> so that works. So the uh, 
Fusino hard baits, for the most part, are the, probably the weakest thing in the box. But the little rattle trap here, if you can see it or not, um, front's actually fine. Real tight wobble, obviously because it's smaller. No issues though. So that's good. I'm sure the crankbait and the jerkbait will function well too. Uh, I just don't see the like the topwater baits are, are not good. One didn't even come with uh, some of the stuff that I expected it to come with, and the the other one just it just it pops more like a frog, the, the uh, spook kind of one. For this box to be like a, an actual like oh I definitely recommend it kind of deal for me, it you would have to worry less about quantity and more about quality. Um, I think it'd be better for like a, an entry level fisherman to to have maybe one good crankbait, one good jerkbait, and then like a popper versus six maybe okay little baits. Uh, I think that would be would serve them a lot better. Got one on that yellow frog back up in there. Oh no. I think he's still on. I hope he is. <laughs> Felt like a decent fish. Oh, I want to say he's off. No, he's still there. All right. Placino yellow frog. These frogs and the, and the stick baits are probably the best baits in that box. But they work. Frog sits a little heavy in the water, but that's okay. All right, bud, thank you. There's one of my frog. Oh, oh, little guy came off. another one on that placino worm not very big but hey fish is a fish okay so it just got back from uh, fishing um, I think I got enough footage to make the video for placino but that's the hundred piece kit in a nutshell uh, I want to go over the, the good and the bad about it I'm gonna start out with the good uh, the soft plastics in here, the, the worms and stuff that I got, I don't have any of the stick baits in here. I've got them still in my car because I, I like them. They're good. They're, they're heavy. There's salt in the content of the, uh, of the bait. Essentially, they're very much just like a, a Bass Pro Sticko. I can throw them just as far. Uh, they're just as soft. There's enough action in it. And they're pretty durable. About every fish that you see me catch in this video, it was all on the same stick bait. And they give you three. I wish they gave you more. Ideally, I wish they would give you more. Uh, this little curly tail swim bait actually works pretty well too. I've got nailed on this quite a few times. So I'm pretty happy with that. And the grubs, they work just like a, a grub would. Nice action on the tail. And, and you can fish for bass with these. You can fish for a crappie with a big panfish. We'll, we'll hit those, no problem. Uh, the, the frogs are, in my opinion, the second best thing in here. And the only reason is because the, the paint job's not gonna last very long on them. But the frogs have a little bit of weight in the back, so when they sit in the water, they don't sit flat like some of the frogs I have, they sit like this. And that kind of gives a little bit of a different presentation where the bass can see the coloring. And the, the frogs work. I mean, you saw me catch fish on the frogs. I missed a few, but that's, they get, either got under the pad or one was actually kind of small, so I don't think he got the frog entirely in his mouth. Um, but the frogs are great. I, I like them. Uh, the other thing that I really like about the frogs, for, I know that this, this is marketed as a beginner's kit. 
okay? And to be honest, it's not a beginner's basket. It's more of a general fishing kit because we've got spoons and other things in here. Um, but the tails or the legs are trimmed down to a reasonable size. Usually with frogs, uh, a beginner won't know that you probably should trim the, the legs a little bit just because it's so long that if a bash tore strike, it usually grab the, grab the legs and, and not the hooks. But these are trimmed down to the perfect size. Didn't have to trim them whatsoever and the fish had no problem getting them. So the frogs are great. Uh, the spoons I have no opinion on. Uh, that's really kind of a situational thing. And if you want to make this a bass kit, we kind of, the spoons, we don't really don't need them. Um, that's a really situational thing where you're fishing deep water and kind of fluttering stuff. It's not really a cast and retrieve thing. That's more for, I, I would say more for trout uh, in lakes and rivers. That's uh, typically where I've used spoons. Um, the terminal tackle in here is also good. Like the, the hooks that they provide you, now the hooks aren't, the eyelet's not completely sealed, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's tight enough, there's no way, not, not even thin line is getting through that. And they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty durable. So the terminal tackle in here, the swivels, the, the wire leader, the beads they give you, is, is all pretty good. The things that aren't are, you know, the weights, I wish they weren't brass uh, or whatever metal this is. They're, they're this goldish color and it, it doesn't really work out for bass fishing. Um, my experience, black or like a dark green or some type of gray always works better. The spinner baits are serviceable. Uh, you really need to replace the, the blades. The, the top blade needs to be the smallest blade and then the uh, top blade needs to be replaced with a bigger willow blade or Colorado blade to get some of some type of vibration going on. Um, but as far as like the quality of it, the build of it is just is about the same as what you would expect from like a an entry level Strike King or it's it's not as bad as Walmart the Walmart dollar bin. So they're better than that. So I'll I'll, I'll put that out there. The weakest thing in this kit is 100% the hard baits. Uh, the rattle trap works okay, but because it's so small, you really can't do, you can't wind in too fast. The crankbait should be fine. I didn't try it, it still got it in the packaging. Crankbait should be fine though. But the, the jerk bait that I had, I, I tried that today unsuccessfully. It, it sinks backwards. It's got a, a heavy weight in the back end. So that needs to be fixed. Um, the popper came unfinished and the, the top water kind of spook thing just, it doesn't work. So here's what I would do if I were Placino, and I know that they've fixed some other products that people kind of reviewed for them, including their, their telescoping rod, which I think is probably the most popular one. I know that one got fixed. Uh, I saw some good reviews on the new version of that. Here's what I would do with this kit. One, keep the frogs, give us more soft plastics, like give us five stick baits. Like they're durable and they're really easy to use, especially if you're marketing to beginners. Um, the rest of the soft plastics I like. It'd be, it'd be nice if we got a change in the, the weights. It, it could still be brass, just it gotta be painted black or, or some type of dark green. The rest of the terminal tackle can stay. You gotta decide though, this is, really isn't a bass fishing kit. It's more of like a general fishing kit, which is okay. If that's the case, if I would, get rid of most of the spoons. There's probably six or seven spoons in here, if not more. I would just get rid of most of those and focus on giving us like two good quality spinner baits with decent sized blades on them. Uh, and then the, the hard tackle, the, the hard baits, to be honest, they need to be bigger so it's easier to cast. These, these ones can be cast on like light tackle, but that's not something that, you know, a beginner fisherman may necessarily have. Um, to help them out because hard baits are probably one of the easiest things to fish. That's what I grew up, that's what I learned to fish on was hard baits. It's basically a cast and retrieve. I would do one medium sized jerk bait. I would do uh, like a floating jerk bait, one medium sized shallow diving crank bait that also floats and then one popper. Um, those would work out fine. I'd rather have three really decent ones or three okay ones over six that are like eh. um, Just to help out with you know, beginner fishermen, which this is supposedly marketed to. And if it's a beginner fishing kit, most of these people are gonna be bank beating. They're not gonna be out in kayaks. They might be, but they may not be out in kayaks or boats. They're most likely gonna be bank beating. And for me to give this like a, yeah, you gotta go pick it up. I would need to see those types of changes happen. However, for what it is, if you have a kid that wants to get into fishing and is excited by the possibility of having a bunch of stuff or somebody who is just getting started fishing, has no idea what they're doing, but, uh, if nothing else, this is, a, is an okay, I would say it wouldn't be a bad pickup for them because they have so much terminal tackle in here that they could possibly use. And the frogs and the, and the soft plastics alone are, are, are good. So it's 25 bucks. Um, 
I feel, again, like if we could get rid of some of the spoons, improve the quality of the, of the um, spinner baits and the, mostly the, the, the hard baits go with less but better quality, I think this, this kit would then be like, I would, yeah, go pick it up because it might be something that, you know, if I'm on traveling, this would be kind of a nice thing to have, like an all general purpose kit where I don't have to take all my tackle, but I could have small tackle box and have just about everything I wanted, or I could have it ordered or shipped to the hotel or to, to the house that I'm staying at or if I'm staying with family. So those are the main things with the Placino kit, and that's the 102-piece kit. Um, if you want to check it out, then they're, they sell it through the website. They also sell it on Amazon. The one thing I will, rec will say, though, is that I'm interested in taking a look at their Wacky Rig kit because of the quality of the, the stick baits. I don't know where, who makes the stick baits for them, but they're actually pretty good. Um, and I'm interested in that kit. I may pick that one up and review it on my own just because it seems it seems like it might be worth it. The only thing that kind of off puts me to it is the colors that they have on the website. But if we got more like those blacks, greens, neutral colors, um, even just in, in maybe like one that's like a bubblegum pink, um, that might be worth taking a look at. But that's Placino Kit. Uh, I'm gonna get back to regular fishing. I know I haven't made a ton of videos this past, uh, this past month, but I've got family vacation stuff that I absolutely wanna go on and absolutely need to go on. So I've been doing that. Gonna start back up uh, with the, the tournament series here in Florida, uh, Florida Kayak uh, Bass Trail. It's gonna start in November, so I'm looking forward to that, gonna prep for that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do a little bit of fun fishing because the competitive stuff is over for now. So until the next one, I'll see you guys out there.